hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x to the power of 4 minus 9 is equals to 0 and we find all the values of x you see here uh, this is fourth order equation it means that this equation has four roots so we find all that four roots now here the very first thing we are going to do is first we rewrite this equation as this is x to the power of 4 we write it as 2 multiplied by 2 minus this is 9 we write it as 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and here in the next step we apply the exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n it is equals to a to the power of m to the power of n so according to this exponent law here uh, we move uh, this 2 inside the term and it will be written as x square and its whole square minus this is 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and here we uh, apply the algebraic formula you know that a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this algebraic formula we write uh, uh, the left hand side of this equation as uh, this will becomes x square minus 3 times of uh, x square plus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x square minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 3 equals to 0 and now here we find the values of x from both of these cases and now first we, fo uh, we focus in the first case and here we move this minus 3 to the right hand side and we get our x square is equals to 3 so uh, in order to find the value of x we need to uh, take the square root on both of the sides so that when you take square root it will be written as in this form now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get x is equals to here you, you know that when we take square root on both of the sides then we write here plus minus sign on any one of any one of these sides okay so here we get the value of x is equals to plus minus square root of 3. So these are the two real solutions of the given equation and now because our given equation is fourth order so we find all the four roots of this equation. Uh, for this uh, we focus in the second case and in second case we move this plus 3 to the right hand side and we get x square is equals to minus 3. So in order to find the value of x, so again we take square root on both of the sides uh, and it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we get our x is equals to here we again uh, write the plus minus sign and we can apply the square root on both of these terms. It will be written as square root of 3 into square root of minus 1. And now uh, here uh, we obtain x is equals to plus minus square root of 3 and we know that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota so this is the value of uh, this is the other two values of x but these two values are complex values and now here in the next step we uh, need to verify these roots uh, here we check that is these roots are satisfied over given question statement or not so the for verification we first copy down given question statement here it is x to the power of 4 minus 9 equals to 0 and here in this side we, we verify the root that is x equals to plus minus square root of 3 and here we verify the second root that is plus minus square root of 3 into iota so for verification of this root uh, we will uh, put both of these uh, values into the given equation uh, and we check its behavior so when you put this value it will be written as plus minus square root of 3 and its whole power 4 and minus 9 equals to 0 we check that is uh, our left hand side becomes 0 or not uh, so here you know that when uh, our base is negative but its exponent is an even number so our base will becomes positive so this negative sign become positive and here we can apply this 4 on this value and it will be written as here uh, we write a square root of 3 into the exponent form and it will be written as 3 to the power 1 over 2 and its whole power is 4 minus this is 9 equals to 0 here we check that 
this our answer is becomes zero or not so here we apply the exponent law and we multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 1 over 2 multiplied by 4 minus 9 equals to 0 and you see here this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get 3 square minus 9 equals to 0 and this will becomes 9 minus 9 equals to 0 and finally we get 0 equals to 0. This shows that the value of x is equals to plus minus square root of 3 is satisfied over this given question statement. So these are the two uh, roots of the given equation. And now here we check, uh, we uh, verify the second values of x and in second value of x we again put these two values uh, in this equation. So after substituting these values, this will be written as plus minus square root of 3 into iota and its whole power 4 minus 9 equals to 0. And here uh, we again uh, know about that uh, if the base is inactive and exponent is an even number, so this will become positive and we can apply this 4 on both of these values. Now first we write square root of 3 into the exponent form and it is 3 to the power of 1 over 2 and its whole power 4 into iota to the power of 4 minus 9 equals to 0 and here we multiply these two exponents and you get 2 times of 2 becomes 4 so we obtain here this is 3 square and iota to the power of 4 and we write it as uh, iota square and its whole square minus 9 equals to 0. So this 3 square becomes 9 and we know that iota square equals to minus 1 and minus 1 square minus 9 equals to 0. So minus 1 square becomes plus so we get minus 9 minus 9 equals to 0 and finally we obtain 0 is equals to 0. So this shows that the second value of x is also satisfied over given question statement. So uh, these are the uh, four solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more